Hey there, Casey Page here, and this is a quick start video for in installing iTracker. So the first thing you'll want to do is access the setup guide or the instructions that we provide. And the first step in installing iTracker is to provide your Infusionsoft API key. I've already done that, so I can go to the next step. Uh, the second step is you have to create seven custom fields. We provide you the name of those custom fields, and they are case sensitive. It's best if you just use the link or the button that we provide you to create the fields for you or you can do that manually and there's a separate video on that. The third step is to either add the WordPress plugin that we provide you or if you're not using WordPress you'll need to grab the iTracker 360 JavaScript snippet and embed that on every page of your website. Uh, it's recommended you do it on every page. If you're using WordPress you can just download the WordPress plugin and there's instructions on how to install that. But once you do install the WordPress plugin, you'll have to go to settings and then paste in your license key. Your license key is found in the top right corner here. You can just copy and paste that. Uh, step four is to add seven hidden fields to your web form in Infusionsoft. And to let you know how that works, I have a test page on my WordPress site. This is just a basic form. There's nothing special about it. If I look at the source code of that page in WordPress, it's just a form. There's no hidden fields or anything like that. It is posting to Infusionsoft, and this is an Infusionsoft form. So that's on my WordPress site. That's the form here. And so what you'll have to do is log into Infusionsoft and find the form. This form ha happens to be in this campaign. So if I edit this form, all it has is first name and email. You'll have to add these seven fields that we provide you in the uh, setup guide. Uh, so GA source is one of the fields and it's not listed here. So I'm just going to go through adding that. So just click field snippets, drag a hidden field over, and then find the field that you need. GA source is the one that I need to add. And so I have GA source, medium term, campaign, content, refer URL, and IP address. These fields must be added to your form. If they are not added, uh, iTracker will still append the tracking data to your web form, but it will not, Infusionsoft will not save the data into your CRM. So I'm going to click back to campaign. So that form is set up and ready to go with iTracker. Now the next step in the setup guide is to add an HTTP post back. So when adding an HTTP post back, if you're using the campaign builder, we'll need to create a post back that looks just like this with the post URL, contact ID, and email. To get this post URL, this is going to be specific to your account. So to get that post back URL, it is located right here in the setup guide. It's also located on the iTracker 360 features page. Um, so inside Infusionsoft, what I've done is I've, I've added a sequence, I've connected the form to it. So inside the sequence, I added a process called send HTTP post. I drug that here and I set up the HTTP post with the post URL from the member section. And then the contact ID and email must be added. So I set that as ready to go, and to set these fields, all you have to do is just click Merge, and in this case, it's the most common, it's email. Um, you can test this, and I like to go ahead and send a test just to make sure that this does work. So that was sent successfully, so we're good there. If we hit Back, everything is ready to go for the Infusionsoft side of things. We've added the hidden fields into the form, and we've also set up the HTTP post back. All we have to do is publish this. We don't have to grab any of the HTML code, any of the hidden fields, or anything like that. So if we're back on this form, and notice we never touched the website. All we've done on the website was we've added the iTracker 360 WordPress plugin, which will include the JavaScript snippet that we provide you on every page of your site. If you're not using WordPress, use the JavaScript snippet that we provide you. 
So this form is ready to go. It's set up inside Infusionsoft with the hidden fields, and it has the HTTP post back. So that is how you get set up with iTracker. So now what we can do is we can test this form. So this last part of the video, I'm actually just going to test the form. I have edit this cookie installed. So I'm going to delete all my tracking cookies um, out, off this site. So if I refresh this page, I'm logged out of WordPress. So what I'm going to do is go to Bing and do a, search, a simple test. So I'm just going to search for iTracker Casey Page. So my site's the first one that comes up. I land on the site. I bounce around to the pricing page, the features page, and then eventually I get to the test page where I submit a lead. So I'm going to do Casey1 at caseydemo.com. And the form is submitted. And so now what I can do is log into Infusionsoft and I will check the the test lead that I just submitted was the KC1 KC demo and that was just created today. If I look at the custom data, it's being organic, the keyword data, the referring URL, which was where the page or the form was located, and the IP address. Since I have the HTTP postback set up, I get the tag name called Bing Organic Eye Tracker Casey Page, and then the split tags, where I take each part of this tag and I put it in their own tag in their respective categories. You can use this for triggering different campaigns in the campaign builder if you had a campaign that was only related to Bing or Facebook or something like that. Um, it also helps if you're doing save searches, like a, a save search for tags, and you wanted to know how many conversions from Bing and things like that, you can just do that and add a quick stat on your dashboard. Um, another feature of iTracker is that we do set the lead source, so the lead source is set to Bing Organic iTracker Casey Page. Uh, there is also a address field where we do set the address of the person that just submitted the lead and we use the IP address to find that and we call that our GOIP tracking feature. So we just went through the quick start video for Infusionsoft and iTracker. Um, everything worked correctly. If um, you have any questions just feel free to ask or watch our videos and we'll talk soon. Thanks.